Yo, what's up guys? It's Elite Shot here, aka Sean, bringing you guys another Let's Be Honest video. Today's topic is going to be about the nuke slash mob, that hidden kill streak that's been in the past two Infinity Ward games, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. In Modern Warfare 2, they brought the nuke, obviously, which was the 25 kill streak. You can achieve this by using kill streaks. It was pretty easy to get because once you got your Harrier, then you got your Chopper, you're pretty much were almost guaranteed your nuke if you're on the right map. And in MW3, they brought back the nuke in the form of the MOAB or the Mother of All Bombs, Mass Ordnance Air Blast, whatever you guys want to call it, they brought it back. In Modern Warfare 3, you could not get the MOAB with kill streaks, so you couldn't get your uh, tag helicopter, you couldn't use the chopper gunner, whatever it was called in there, to get your mope so a lot of players would use the special strike package they would get all the perks and most of the weapon proficiencies and that was the easiest and best way to go for the moab and if you use hardline hardline pro every two assists counts as a kill so it made it a little easier to get and it wasn't that bad I would drop mobs pretty much every day if I was going for them. They weren't that tough to go for, and a lot of these gameplays I posted on my channel, and a lot of you guys used to love watching these. Back when Modern Warfare 3 was the game, it was the hot game everyone was playing, that's what I posted on my channel. And that's how I got a big kickstart from my channel, because of these MW3 MOAB gameplays. I mainly posted these gameplays on my older channel. That's kind of when I started um, playing MW3. I had an older channel, then I had to make a new one in order to receive my partnership. But I love the mode. A lot of players and a lot of people I know don't really like the MOAB because, or the nuke, because they feel like it ruins the game. Sometimes players will boost for that. They uh, party up with a teammate and just boost for it. It's not even earned, respectively. So that's kind of cheap, and I understand why people don't like that. And other people believe that it just ruins the game because if people aren't playing the objective and only going for kills, what's the point of having an objective? Sometimes players join a game only trying to go for the MOAB. I'm not gonna lie, guys, sometimes I would play domination or other objective based game modes that lasted longer than tdm because it was easier to get the moab or the nuke in all honesty they should only have the nuke slash mob slash kem strike which is going to be the nuke in call of duty ghosts in game modes where there really isn't a main objective so they shouldn't have it in domination demolition headquarters they should only have it in game modes where you get kills like kill confirmed i know there's kind of objective which is picking up the tags but it's a little more a little more lenient on that and tdm every game mode shouldn't have the option to go for the KEM strike or this 25 kill streak, hidden kill streak, because it makes people not play the objective. And when players don't play the objective, that's not right. If you're not playing the objective, your team's gonna lose, your players get mad, and that's not the point of playing the game. The point of the game modes is to play the objective and to win, not just to camp and go for this hidden kill streak and for people to boost for it. Personally, I really enjoyed going for the MOABs. I really liked going for the nukes. It was a lot of fun and it was a big part of the game. For Modern Warfare 3, I feel like it made it more entertaining for myself. When I was playing and getting these high kill streaks, I was so excited to get that MOIB. When I was close, my heart started racing. I was getting really, really pumped up to call this bad boy in, and it made the game so much more interesting. It also helped a lot of YouTube channels out. Like I mentioned before, it helped my channel out so much. A lot of you guys loved watching those gameplays. You loved seeing my setups and what I used to get to that MOIB, and I really felt like that was a big part of me. And I'm glad they're bringing back a similar nuke to Call of Duty Ghost. It's called the KEM Strike. Um, there were some leaked images. You guys probably seen them already. I'm pretty excited for that. Now, I'm pretty curious to what you guys think about this. Do you guys think there should be a hidden kill streak in Call of Duty? Do you guys think it ruins the game? Or does it make it more entertaining? Leave a comment below because I'm definitely wondering. And if you guys want to hear a different topic, be sure to leave the comment. If I see that topic most frequently, that's what I'll talk about next. But as I always say, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm on my way to... 30,000 subscribers and all your support is greatly appreciated. I love you guys, so keep that up. It's Alicia here, aka Sean, your friendly card fanboy. I'm signing out. Peace.